Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, notification video. In this video, we'll talk about the Atomic Shop and the daily challenges. So let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's navigate to the Atomic Shop and see what we got on the menu today. So, oh, whoops, my bad. Atomic Shop. There we go. And we're going to this section right here. And today we have the <laughs> uh, Let's Play Power Armor set. Actually, my reaction was wrong. Actually, I saw this paint on one of the Power Armors uh, on XO1 and actually looked good. Uh, but personally, I haven't used this uh, paint. I have never bought it. I've never owned it. So, if any of the Z Clan members own this paint, used it, could you please provide some feedback in regards to this paint and if it's worth getting or not? Uh, essentially, if we were to have power armor display stands where we could display a lot of different paints, then I would consider start buying uh, paints and so on and so forth so I can make displays. So uh, as you've noticed I changed my camp building style and it's more of displaying stuff now. Now, uh, as, uh, as you guys call it, uh, oh man, what was the name of it? Hot Topic, that's what it was. Uh, that's why I even named my first video Hot Topic Camp. And this is my new Hot Topic number 2 camp, which uh, I already finished. <laughs> uh, so, this is where we go. And yeah, I would really love to start displaying a lot of different outfits, skins, weapon skins, armor skins, uh, power armor skins. That would be nice. But we need monikins for that. We need uh, normal display cases that can actually show that. On top of everything else, a bigger budget would be nice and remove the limitation of how many weapons, for example, you can display because for now we have 30. Anyway, <clears throat> let's continue. So, I would get it if I was to be able to display stuff. Alright, so from this section right here, we have the pickaxe skin set. So, there we go. That's the skin set, and you know what? The three different skins. I might even. I might. I'm. I'm actually gonna grab it with a 50% discount. That uh, item looks big, nice, and would look good on the displays. So I will get it because it's only 150. And uh, as you remember, I already covered this item a, a lot of times. I never got it because I said that I never gonna use it. And to be honest, I definitely never gonna use it. But for displaying, that is something cool. So, let's get to the challenges. So the challenges, uh, collect water, super easy, go to any water pond or whatever and pick up dirty water and you get it done. If you have water purifiers and you can pick up 50 or purify water, then you're done. That, but the quickest way is to find some sort of river or pond or whatever that has water in it. You uh, collect it and you get the 10 atoms. And again, Bethesda is being so kind enough and gives us 10 atoms for all the challenges that they listed here. I remember this one used to be uh, 20 atoms, but never the cases. The seasons are common, so they decided to cut down on the atoms. Thank you, Bethesda. Very, very, very sweet of you. So then we got craft healing items, uh, five of, of these, and you will get 10 atoms on top. I hope I have all the components because I do use uh, on my backpack the mod that reduces the weight for uh, the camps so I have a bu whole bunch of camps on me and hopefully I'll be able to complete that challenge as well eat pre-war food uh, also 10 atoms uh, super easy if you followed my advice that I've uh, mentioned a lot of times now and that is by doing the monster mash event uh, at the Vatoga high school which triggers over there over there you can collect uh, hundreds of uh, Halloween candies and those Halloween candies can be applied to many different daily challenges including this one right here um, and daily challenges such as eating candy for instance Kelly Yagwai also super easy we'll do that one right there I'll show the location of the the Yagwai for the low levels uh, the top levels veteran players I'm pretty sure already know hundreds of locations where you can find that beast so level up and uh, complete any of the following sub challenges if you are to uh, 
level up and complete three at the same time, you'll get 10 atoms. Or level up three times and complete uh, one, one, one. Whichever comes. I'm actually going to collab it with three and get it done. Uh, although I was planning to stream Nuclear Winter today on Twitch. I'm not sure. But anyway. Nah, I want to I wanna do Nuclear Winter. I want to get those ranks and unlock some more skins and stuff like that. Alright, so... Uh, that is level up while engaged in PvP while diseased, yielding an axe while tuned well rested, exploring nuke region, caves, mines, uh, wearing a full clown suit. If you don't know where to get one, I'll show you. Wearing sleepwear, uh, workshop under level 20, level 76 or higher. Myself, I'm gonna do level 76 or higher, full clown suit, and uh, well rested basically. I always have this buff on. Well rested, uh, if you don't know what that is, that is when you're sleeping in the bed for like 30 60 seconds you get the notification pop up saying you're well rested you check your pick point status and uh, you will see that you're getting 5% more XP that that indicates that you're well rested if you sleep on a mattress you'll get one hour if you sleep on a good bed you'll get two hours so sleeping in a good bed definitely sounds like a good deal all right I'm gonna pay attention to that one nuclear winter increase overseer rank oh. <laughs> for me that's not gonna be easy if you haven't started playing nuclear winter it's gonna be pretty easy because you don't need a lot of XP uh, to rank up for me I'm like 70 above so it, yeah it will be a challenge but anyway that's what we have for the dailies and let's start with the pre-war food and crafting camps hopefully I can do that both of them right now so as I said if you go and do the monster mash at the Halloween you always have these candies over here and if you eat them they count so bam 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 done and done if you don't know where that is well that is located right here in this section right here so there's the Watoka High School if you see the event pop in it's called monster mash go ahead and do it don't submit the candies to the machine just keep it for yourself the uh, weight uh, well, for me, they weigh zero because I have food reduction per card, which redu reduces food by 90%. Uh, if you don't use that per card, you should have 0.01 per candy. All right, so that is that. Now, let's go ahead and try uh, crafting the... Oh, wait, before you craft, if you want to save up components and stuff like that, then I would definitely recommend you using a per card in intelligence called... Uh, where is it? And that uh, should be in, in uh, uh, there a chemist. So then you can also collab it with super duper per card, which doubles the results, and you will get a lot of camps. Actually, this is the main uh, way as I make uh, caps on uh, my daily caps. I dilute all the rat eggs right away, stim packs, and then I sell it because uh, you get a whole bunch of that stuff. That's why I'm always all set with that one. So afterwards, you navigate over here, click, uh, go to the healing section, and one. Uh, I think Radix doesn't count. See, Radix doesn't count. That, that is stupid. Why is this thing in healing if it doesn't count? That is extremely stupid. Okay. Ah, wait. That thing is going on. But anyway, I don't have enough. I need blood pack and glowing fungus. Alright. How many do I have to complete? So find the easy ones that you can do and you'll get it done. Uh, three. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to work on that. Alright, so let's go and kill a Yogwai or collect some water to the Shredder Cannon. <laughs> you guys called this guy Shredder? So now this guy is Shredder. Fire in a hole. <laughs> Am I going to die or no? Ah, full speed at the oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Seriously, I just freaking crashed. Come on, game. That is so stupid. <laughs> All right, so right now, what we're gonna do is navigate to Philly P Battlefield Cemetery. That's where we're gonna kill our Yogwai. If you come, if you fast travel here, this is where you will end up. You'll need to get behind that house, and uh, afterwards you navigate over here, and you kill the bear right here. So he's level 26. Bam, done. So as I said, the final is to collect water, which is the easiest from all. All you gotta do is just find dirty water, 
is the best one because you can transform it into boiled water and you're done. Also I'm going to collect here my fungi so I can do some more healing stuff and try to complete the daily challenges as well. But anyway, oh by the way once you're collecting these things don't forget to have your green thumbs up. Uh, you might not need the blood leaf, I don't know what it's for. I think that there is something I can do with it, but anyway. This is what I need for sugar, so I definitely pick these up. And that's pretty much it. Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where we're going to be calling it the end for this video. You all know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. So if you want other people to reply to your comments, make sure not to drop any F-bombs and you will get your replies. By the way, what I did forget to mention at the very start of the video, we voted what should become our official Z-Clan uh, outfit and uh, I mean if the Samurai outfit should become our official Z-Clan outfit and we voted yes. So starting off today, the Samurai outfit is the official outfit of Z-Clan. <laughs> and uh, this is my new camp. How you like it? And that's the Shredder Cannon. That's what I called it. I don't know. Maybe we can figure out a better name for it. I also have a theory what we can use that thing for. But I'll explain that in, in some other video because this video is already turning out to be a pretty long one. But anyway, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. My, my name is Gamer Z Sol. I'm from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to. Uh, 5,204 uh, Z-Clan members and if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I hope you're gonna love it here. If you want to join an uh, active community, feel free to join our Discord and uh, read the rules. Otherwise you will get banned. And once you've read the rules and you understand them, basically it's all super simple, family friendly, no F-bomb, no spam, none of that stuff, and you're good to go. So if you're good with that, then go to the get started section, select Z that you accept uh, the rules, you'll get access to the general chat, select the platform you play on so it'll be easier for you to uh, find people to play with, and select the game that you play so you get access to those game chats as well. So, that's pretty much it, Z Clan, y'all have a good one, and I'll see you later. Y'all have a good morning, day and night, whatever you guys lock it at. Bye! I do apologize by the way, I am a little bit tired today, so I don't know, maybe we're gonna have a little chill stream, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I'll catch y'all later. From the